morning and happy Wednesday. It's 020232. I mean, if there's ever a day to receive a blessing, it's today. So we, I don't know how people can ah, We live in the universe that's literally dying before our eyes. Literally. I, uh, I need an unlimited God. Not man made. <laughs> Love the views. Walk. <laughs> it's so fat and big and huge and cool. Hola, como están? <laughs> I'm being so extra today. I almost lost my balance. Look at how the sun is shining. Okay, so this is my story about how I can let that upside down. Nah, nah. I don't even know what I was singing. I was trying to sing the Prince of Bel Air, but then I forgot the lyrics. Um, so I'm gonna sit right here. It's our stairs. I'm sitting on the stairs. Kind of scary because there's spiders everywhere. And mosquitoes. So, there's spiders everywhere. I want to just quickly share because I don't really like talking a lot. I say that, but then I wind up talking a lot. But I'm going to share how God brought me to Africa. Woo, 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 woo clap hands for god who is hot y'all <laughs> and it's been a long day a long day so um i was in the states right and when i went to bible school in dallas I knew that God was calling me to the nations. He kept putting in my heart that I was going to be in Africa one day, um, as well as other specific places, other specific nations. But we'll get there when we get there. But anyhow, he prepared me by sending me amazing African friends. Shout out to my friends. Whoop, whoop. And yeah, I feel like he was preparing me in the States for when I would come here. Anyways long story short i had an encounter with god in my home where he said um you can go and i'm sending you for a specific mission um to be like an esther make connections learn serve blah 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 and one of my friends that i met in the states at bible school she lives here so she graduated before me came back to her homeland but we sit in touch one day she's like, hey, if you ever want to come, let me know, right? Whatever. When the Lord told me, I reached out to her. Like, I I just felt like reaching out to her. And I was like, hey, like, I heard the Lord say that I can come. Like, what would that look like? Whatever. I also heard him say to buy a one-way ticket. Did not have the money for it. So I was like, Lord, if you put it on someone's heart to bless me, I would love that. You know, someone reaches out to me and it's like, I support what the Lord is doing in your life. I want to buy your plane ticket. So they do, and so I come. <laughs>